PV850 injector is designed to simplify intracellular injection and we'll show you how to set it up. The system includes the following components. The PV850 injector, a foot switch, the PV850 capillary kit, a 6-foot BNC cable, a Y stereo splitter cable to connect a computer for TTL control, and a power adapter with a cord. The first thing we need to do to set up the system is to connect the power supply to the rear of the unit and plug it into a wall outlet. Plug the foot switch connector into the foot switch port. The foot switch connector is labeled back panel. Do not plug in the capillary kit yet. Power on the PV850. On power up, the startup screen appears and the PV850 performs a self test. After the self test completes, we can plug in the different required components. The first connection is the input connection from your external pressure source. A quarter inch hard tubing that is included can be cut to fit. It is used for connecting your pressure source, a tank or a pressure pump. To install the hard tubing, firmly insert the tubing into the quick connect fitting on the rear of the instrument. When the tubing is inserted far enough, it engages and cannot be pulled out. To remove the tubing, simply press in on the surrounding collar while pulling the tubing out. Next, connect the capillary holder tubing assembly. Slide the bare end of the adapter tubing assembly through the pipette handle. Connect it to the barb of the pipette holder body. Be careful so the barb does not break when attaching or removing the tubing. Slide the pipette holder over the barb and carefully screw it onto the body of the pipette holder. Be careful not to cross thread it. Place the gasket of the correct size in the cap. The other end of the small tubing has a quick connector. Connect it to the blue PV850 tubing assembly provided. Verify that the injection port is disabled. If not, touch the settings area of the display to access the settings menu and touch the port on button to set it to port off. Align the Easy Connect connector with the injector port on the front of the PV850. Slide the connector securely into the port and attach it with a slight clockwise twist. If you wish to use a computer or pulse generator to send a TTL pulse to trigger an injection, then connect the Y stereo splitter to the foot switch port on the rear of the PV850. Connect the CBL102 jack to one of the female ports on the Y stereo splitter, and then plug the BNC cable into the appropriate TTL port on your pulse generator. Now insert the blunt end of the micropipette, that's the pre-pulled capillary glass, into the cap, through the gasket, and into the body. Screw the cap in place. The screw cap and rubber gasket firmly hold the glass micropipette. If you have any questions, just give us a call.